What's going on everybody? Chase with IDub Hockey, joined today with Evan Baker, Senior Manager for Bauer Pro Sharp Hockey. We're gonna talk profiles today. There's a lot to digest, but I just want someone to be able to watch this video, know exactly what a profile is, which one they should at least start with, and what to expect and how it's gonna improve their game. Sure. So, Let's start off with what is a profile, a custom profile from ProSharp, and how is that different from a stock profile? Sure, so a profile is essentially the shape of the bottom of your blade. Mm -hmm. Most of us are, are more familiar with the idea of a single radius profile. So for example, a Bauer skate comes with a 10 foot single radius. So essentially a circular shape across the bottom of the blade. What we've done at ProSharp is we've actually taken that to the next level where we're creating multiple radius zones throughout uh, throughout the length of your steel. So if you're looking at our quad profile, we actually have four distinct zones that focus on different elements of the skating stride. Our superior has three distinct zones mm -hmm. and our ellipse is actually a blend of the two, which tries to create this seamless feel across all of the zones that are created underneath that ellipse profile. So before we even start talking the differences between the three, obviously there's some serious performance benefits and you know, while we are talking stability, agility, and power, there's also a nice side effect of this because what we're really talking about here is more meaningful uh, contact between your runner sure. or blade and the ice. Can you walk me through how that's happening and what that's also going to improve in a player's game? Yeah, so essentially what we're trying to do is increase the amount of blade contact with the ice during every segment of your skating stride. And by creating more contact through the stride, what we're actually able to do is reduce your hollow. So we can actually make your sharpening more shallow. What that allows us to do is actually give you better glide. So by going to a profile, not, are we, not only are we gonna enhance your power output, mm -hmm. but we're also gonna make you faster because you're not digging deeper into the ice. Now, if you were to speak to someone who grew up and played hockey in say Sweden or Finland, mm -hmm. they would tell you that anything under a one inch hollow <laughs> is too shallow. Right. But for us here in North America, that's a very standard to have a half inch or a five eighths. Mm -hmm. so, any of our teammates who have tried our, our Bauer performance uh, profiles from ProSharp, they've immediately started transitioning to a shower, shallow or hollow. So essentially, we're maximizing your power output, mm -hmm. we're gonna increase your overall speed, and ultimately what we're gonna give you is more stability on the ice. So let's hop into the three different profiles now because you know, obviously there's serious performance benefits. You're gonna have better glide like we just covered. But as you also alluded to earlier, they're a lot different between the three here. So let's maybe start with the profile that someone's gonna start with first and then go from there. Sure, so the majority of, of consumers out there are gonna come off of a single radius 10 foot profile. And what we would suggest is based on your skating style, whether you consider yourself someone who's looking for more power or someone who's looking for more of an aggressive or an agility uh, style, mm -hmm. you would go into one of the two main profiles, the mm -hmm. ones that we're more familiar with. So mm -hmm. in 2019, we partnered with ProSharp and we brought this idea of a quad profile to the launch of our Supreme Skate. So quad with its four zones mm -hmm. is, uh, is meant for a player who's looking to enhance their overall power output, who's looking for a balanced feel. Now, when we launched that quad profile with our Supreme Skate, we actually added the superior or our agility profile to our Vapor Skate for someone who's looking for a very aggressive feel. Now, regardless of what skate you wear, mm -hmm. you're really thinking about your style of skating so that you can really, you can kind of, you can blend profiles with skate families. Right. We'll leave it at that. The, the newest profiles are lips and essentially it's a seamless version of the quad. Mm -hmm. The quad has its four very distinct zones. And then as you experienced earlier today, you feel like you transition into the zones. Right. But what you noticed and what you liked about the ellipse was you felt that that transition was softer. So it's a smoothless uh, and seamless transition between each of the zones. Mm -hmm. So giving you this nice benefit of an almost an enhanced quad. Right. It, it, to me, it, my experience, I started with the superior and right away you notice, okay, this is way different from what I've been skating on for you know, 14, 20 years, however yeah. long it's been. And uh, you know, there's something here. And in my opinion, you know, everyone's going to be different because everyone's such a different skater out there. I felt a little bit too forward on my toes. And as we were out here with Kyle from uh, Skates, he recommended, you know, give the quad a try. And that's where I, something clicked and I just knew this is how we should have been doing it for a long time. 
because like you mentioned, there are four different zones, but they just, even the quad seemed very seamless until I went to the lips. And then it just seems like this perfect harmony of transition from getting onto your toes or, you know, just even trying to skate backwards. It just was absolutely perfect. So like I mentioned, that was very unique to my experience. What should players be looking for as they're going through the superior or the quad or the ellipse? How do each of those feel different to that first time skater out there? Yeah, so the, the quad profile, as I mentioned, is meant for power, but it also has this very balanced feel because mm -hmm. it has two zones in the back that help with glide mm -hmm. and stability. Whereas the superior is more toe, more forward, more up on your toes, so you're gonna feel more pitched forward. Right. So that's gonna be the big difference between those two. But when you look in, at the ellipse and how it becomes that kind of smoother transition um, through each of the zones with the quad, it's more gonna come down to your feel with mm -hmm. those two. So for example, I am coming off a traditional profile, a mm -hmm. single radius. I like the idea of this power profile with these smooth transition, felt like a nice, evolution into performance profiles. Totally. But what I noticed was I was missing a little bit of something when I would transition into my forward powered stride. And immediately the guys pres prescribed to me, my performance advisor team, they mm -hmm. said, you should move into a quad. You'll feel those forward zones more. So much like, much like when you're picking your stick or you're picking your flex or you're picking your pattern, there's a bit of a give and take on this to try and find that right version for you. Right. So what we would suggest is based on the performance attribute you're looking to get out of your steel and out of your skate, start there. Right. And then what you can do is you can, you can play with the profile, play with the size of the profile, and then also with the hollow. So like you just mentioned, the size of the profile, as if there isn't enough information here to digest. We also have different sizes. So can you walk me through, you know, exactly what that means? Because I think that's very important for players to understand what the different sizes within a specific custom profile sure. are. And then if you're at icewarehouse.com, you're shopping for the latest Bauer skate or maybe a competitor skate too. But if you're looking on the site, you know, how do I know which profile size, and then maybe even what hollow size I should follow that with too. Sure, so we've worked very closely with your team mm -hmm. um, prior to the acquisition. The ProShark team worked very closely with your team to help put together a lot of really good educational information on the website that will help guide the consumer based on their size of skate mm -hmm. and the type of performance that they're looking for from that profile to match that up. Now, if the best recommendation would be start with the recommended profile size, mm -hmm. really because all you want to do is change a single variable as you're going through this experience. Mm -hmm. Now, if you find, say, a quad zero on a size eight skate, in my example, doesn't give me the stability I want because maybe I'm a defenseman and I skate backwards a lot, I can go to the larger size. Right. If I'm looking for, say, I'm an aggressive skater and I'm, const I'm more, more, say, of a forward or an aggressive defenseman, I can go to the smaller size, mm -hmm. which will give me more agility, more aggressiveness, and really change the dynamic in there. So ultimately what you can do is start with the recommended size mm -hmm. and then transition between multiple sizes based on what you're looking to achieve from that profile. Now the hollow is a bit of a different story. Right. So what we have recommended is based on the information that we've accumulated throughout the years of working with these profiles. Keep in mind, ProSharp's been doing this for over 37 years. Hmm. So we've geared a lot of the recommendations that are on the, the, in, the ICE Warehouse website to be more, say, what we would suggest to a European community mm -hmm. because we talked about the idea of them using shallower hollows. Now, one of the things that's very easy for a consumer to change is the actual hollow. That's not no different than saying, today I would like a half, tomorrow I'd like a 5.8. So what I would suggest is use the profile that you think makes the most sense based on the information on the site, mm -hmm. and then pick the, the recommended hollow that's closest to what you use now. Right. You can go shallower and it'll still be grippy enough for you, I promise. But if you need to modify that, you can do that after the fact when you go and get your skate sharp from the next time. So let's talk about getting your skate sharp in the next time. You know, I'm following the guide on icewarehouse.com and you know, I'm trying to 13 16th for the first time sure. ever. And that's going to be way out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And you know, I feel how that pro sharp profile is giving me more meaningful contact, but I, I really would like to see how this would feel maybe on my five eights or, you know, where else I might be. So 
how would you recommend maybe going about having them sharpened in general? And how long should I think about using them until I need to get them reprofiled? Sure, so last question first. We recommend getting mm -hmm. your skates profiled three times a season. Mm -hmm. Start a season midway through and right before playoffs start. Ultimately, what we want you to do is have that fresh new experience with that brand new profile in your key points of the season. Right. What can happen when skates are sharpened by hand because of essentially the human interaction component of it, mm -hmm. you can sharpen the skates differently and you can actually round out the profile. So our recommendation is if you are skating on a performance profile, mm -hmm. you should be using an automated skate sharpening machine. So ultimately, the best case scenario is that consumer is reaching back out to you guys mm -hmm. using your service, getting the steel sharpened on the ProSharp AS1001, an automated machine that has consistent pressure throughout the entire sharpening process that will maintain your profile for the longest period of time mm -hmm. versus if I were to do them, and although I am a quote unquote semi-professional skate sharpener, I'm going to sharpen both skates differently. Yeah. I may be heavier handed. I actually am heavier handed on my right hand. So I will actually create a longer, deeper sharpen <laughs> through the back half of the steel because that's just how I feel comfortable when I'm sharpening the skates. Right. Put it on the AS1001, which you guys have that's not gonna be a problem. That's perfect, that's perfect. And he's alluding to our mail-in service too, if you're not near one of our locations. Uh, also have more information that on that on this site. So, you know, let's just say I, I hate the profiles, which I don't think anyone's gonna say. W what do I do to reset the profile if I wanna go back to a classic and you know, watch the competition out skating out there? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So. Changing the profile is actually quite simple. It's mm -hmm. an automated process on the AS2001. It can actually be done by hand as well. Essentially, mm -hmm. um, there are guides mm -hmm. that a hand sharpener can use uh, on a profiling wheel to reset your profile to whatever it would be that you would like. So a traditional from Bauer would be a 10 foot radius. Mm -hmm. They can easily get you to a 10 foot radius. So you'll take some steel off in certain areas. So mm -hmm. it will reduce the life of your steel in a sense, mm -hmm. but it's very easy for you to change the profile mm -hmm. back to something that is a little bit more comfortable. So you're not stuck with it. And also kind of on that topic too, you can easily change between a triple quad as well as the ellipse. Um, and then one last thing to touch on, as far as the life expectancy of your steel too, um, you know that initial initial sharpening, you went to our, our website, you found out the superior medium was perfect for me and I love it. And I've just had it re uh, profiled a couple times. Sure. You know, does that take off a significant amount of life or is it just a little bit off the first time? So you're gonna see the most amount of steel come off the first time. Mm -hmm. And then if the steel is maintained by an automated sharpening over through the extended life of the steel, yeah. really you're going in for touch-ups mm -hmm. on, on, on the second, on the profile, on the second right? and third time of that profile. It's when you get into manual sharpening um, or someone who's not necessarily taking the time and care when they're doing that manual sharpening where you're gonna see that profile really change dynamically. So that's when you'll see a little bit more steel coming off to get you back into say register mm -hmm. uh, with that initial profile. So it will impact the life of your steel, yes. Right. No different than any traditional hand profiling would. Mm -hmm. if in a, if really in a sense, this is gonna be a more efficient way to do that because it's being run off the machine that uses a guide to create the profile. So if you're into profiling now, it's no different from a lifespan standpoint. If anything, it's probably gonna make it even a little bit longer. Perfect. Well, Evan, thank you so much for walking us through basically everything you need to know about ProSharp profiling and how to take your game to the next level. And then for you at home that want to check out more Bauer skates or even more information on our profiling services, make sure you head over to icewarehouse.com.